In this lesson, we're going to take the part split in the previous lesson, this mouse model, and we're going to save out the individual bodies to separate parts and pull them back together as an assembly of parts instead of a multi-body part. Sounds like a mouthful, but it's a little easier, I think, than it sounds. There are actually four techniques for doing this, and I'm going to show these techniques in each of the next four lessons. I just want to show them one at a time to show their strengths and weaknesses. The first technique to split a multi-body part into multiple individual parts and bring them back together as an assembly is the split feature itself. We've been using only a portion of the split feature in these three instances when we've used it in this particular part. Let's now use the rest of the functionality. Go to Insert, Features, Split, and we don't even care about the top part of this. It has four bodies, that's all we need to know. What we really want to do is we want to assign names for all of these. I'm going to double click in here and let's make a new folder. You don't want to get these parts mixed up with your other parts. We'll call this a practice folder. Open that up. We'll call this button part. Some of these bodies may be difficult to determine exactly what they're pointing to. I may have misnamed this one. Change the name here. Call it side part. Call this one the button part. Call this the wheel part. And this one should be the base. These other settings we need to pay attention to this time. It might make sense to use the consume cut bodies option. If you do this, the part at the bottom of the feature tree will be blank. That may confuse some people, but depending on your workflow, it may make sense. Again, if you're using custom properties, you'll want to use the copy custom properties to new parts option. And if you're very particular about the templates that you use to create these new parts, you can override the default template settings. So with all of those settings set to your liking, just click on OK. SolidWorks will save each of the individual bodies with the name that you've provided to the location where you've told them to go. And at the bottom of the tree, now we have an additional split feature. If you right click on this split feature, there is an option in here to create assembly. And now we can place and name the assembly. So we'll call this final mouse. And we place that. It's using this particular feature so we know where it's come from. And now SolidWorks has created a new assembly with each one of these individual parts. The feature inside this is just a stock feature, and that's all you're going to see. But if you need to break these into individual parts or to look at it individually, you can see it. And now from here, you can add assembly bosses and other types of features such as clearance between the parts and various other items.